Hey, what it do, what it did, what it does, man. It's your boy Melly here. Back with another reaction video. Where we are reacting to Red Flags, nigga. Blonde dating based on Red Flags, bro. Let's get it. Saw that Let's I was talking to, that, to another girl. If all the red and green flags in a party that's, were that's revealed up good. front, would that help that's us find new love? With five hand-selected men to date, our bachelorette will pose a series of questions crafted to bring forward any red and green flags they may have. Who will win the race to her heart? I am Torin. I'm hey, 24. My intentions are respectfully to be ruthless. Like, I'm looking for something. I'm on a mission. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste their time. If you don't have it, you better go. Facts. What's your what relationship like with That's your mom? True, I'm first. Am I going first every time? I would prefer to have someone who loves his mom, not a mama's boy. I love my mom. We talk about everything. We spoke this morning. Yeah, I love my mom. Yeah, mama's boy for sure. It's not like I depend on She's her. She's already for making that. I love my mom. I'm gonna give you a red flag. Wow. You should never date a mama's boy. I got a mom tattoo right here. It says like mother, and my mom has a flower that says like son. So oh, that's cute. See, I love my mom. Torin wouldn't like this at all. Nah, my she would fucking my absolutely mom. hate great. you, bro. Uh, always been great. <laughs> Never really had problems. Green flag. Green flag. Ah, uh, yeah, my mom's the best Cuban that's ever lived. I think if I asked her to bring me a sandwich and she lives in Montana, she would fly down to LA and give me one. So she's just incredible. Red flag. There's nothing wrong bro. with loving your mom. I love my mom to death. I don't understand, nigga. What? Is your mom just supposed to be like this person in your life that just you speak to every now and then? Is that what she want? Bitch, is your mom dead or something? You don't just talk to your mom once, nigga. It's, you feel me? Some moms, it's a friendship, nigga. That's just what it is, nigga. That's just what it is. She's not gonna fly here to make me a sandwich. Make yourself a sandwich. Bro, oh, it's great. You're a dumbass. I already don't like her. He, it's, a, it's a joke, woman. It's a joke. Take it. Take it as a joke. It's a joke. That's what it is. She's been there from the That's beginning since I was born. Red, no, green, 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 green flag. You know, she's a queen. Uh, she showed me early on what it is I need to do as a young man to make future women happy, whether it's my woman, whether it's a future daughter, you know, my goddaughter, whoever. Green flag. That, that perfect ass response. Jokes. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. I am hilarious. I am the funniest person to walk the planet. I need someone that can have fun. Can I tell a joke to break the ice? Why did Sally's ice cream cone melt? She was on fire. And no one laughed at my joke, so they all got red flags. Why was Sally ice cream melt? She was on fire. What? That was a really good joke. What did the DJ name Jeez, his no. son? No idea. Eric. 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 <laughs> That's a classic. That was green flag. Yeah, green That's flag. That's a classic. Coming up with jokes on the spot is hard, especially when it's like, your sense of humor is like self-deprecating and like dark, which mine is, what's the difference between a Hispanic and a bench? A bench can support a family of five. I like it. Um, <laughs> it was good. It was, it was kind good. of a jab on myself because I am Hispanic. But yeah, no, I, I think it was funny and I think that's all it that matters. Good, bro. I don't apologize it for it. It's it a good, good joke, but I need you to stop. You laughed. Red flag? Oh. Let's, let me explain. It feels inappropriate to laugh and I don't think I could ever tell that joke. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? I matey. That's a good one. That's a good oh, one. Oh. I'm 18. Red flag. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I feel like they're taking themselves too seriously. No one really wants to put themselves out there. I mean, you can't make fun of yourself here. Are you going to make fun of yourself out there? Uh, I mean, knock, knock. one domestic guy made fun of himself, though. 
So what does she want, bro? I don't understand. <laughs> She's just contradicting. Boo. It's just a joke. Why are you crying? Green flag. You got a green flag? That's a good one. That's Lock good nine. One. Who's there? Green flag. Green flag who? I want a green flag. Green flag. <laughs> that was good, right? Okay, you got a green. You got a oh. green flag. Describe a time you broke the out. chest He's of someone that out. you cared about. Today, actually. I'm actually supposed to be in Joshua Tree right now with the homie. I have to call him up this morning because I forgot to tell him I'm shooting today and I wouldn't I didn't want to do that to you of course missus so I made sure I came so I broke his trust is this a habit no. or is this a one-time thing I don't flake I hate when people flake on people I'm not a flaker for sure green flag green flag there green we go guy. Green guy. past girlfriend had looked through my phone saw that I was talking to another girl yeah from there the trust was kind of shaky I've changed since then a lot uh, that was years ago yeah, my right. last ex was not the most truthful. He was very good at like manipulating the situation and manipulating me in a sense until like I had like that solid evidence that he was actually cheating. Like I feel like I didn't really have a reason to leave. So I definitely look for honesty and whoever I'm going to be spending my time with next. One time I had a good friend share something pretty private with me and ended up sharing it with someone else and it kind of got back around to him. Red flag. Boy, yo, Logan, well, are you never okay, bro? I've never friend's trust, or anyone, really. I keep myself to high standard in regards to loyalty and relationships. Green flag. That's a lie. Uh, I was in the military even, and I was in Korea that. for about 10 months. I had a relationship established about a year prior. Oh, Once I cheated. got there, the communication kind of fell off. Red flag. You don't need constant contact with someone, but just say, hey, I'm doing this today. I'm not going to be on my phone. Have a good day. That's not asking for too much. That's True. literally That's bare minimum. Oh, I'm going to leave. Let's go. You see that come back? Straight into the end zone. I fuck with him. I fuck with buddy. Describe your relationship and your current communication with your ex. So flat out, I don't have one. I know people try to say you should be mature and... You know, it's okay to be friends, but why? Yeah. If and when you move on to dating someone else, that just poses a problem. And I'm not the type of individual who would want condone or allow it. I don't talk to my ex. Uh, we broke I feel, up. I, I feel like that's a that's a valid response, bro. I think I think some exes you are able to be friends with because y'all started the friendship first. But it's like if you get in a relationship with somebody else, bro. And your ex is just still in the midst constantly, bro. And you're testing your ex back and forth because you got the friends. It's just, it's, that's weird to me, bro. That's weird. That's not weird. That's, that should be weird. Pretty that's amicably, weird. we decided it would be best weird. if we didn't talk and just kept that's our distance weird. so we can heal. So no communication right now. I also don't communicate with my ex anymore. Um, it kind of just faded out. Can you out. cheat it, We nigga? did keep in contact, though. You like cheated, after you're a cheater, but... Um, yeah, we don't talk anymore. Fucking how long? Fucking light skin Tupac. Man. You haven't talked to your ex. A little over a year now, I believe. Darius gets a green flag. Green flag. Red flag. Mm. Only because he said right now, which leaves the door open for like later Feature. down the line. You ready? Yes. All right. I'm gonna have Torin turn around. Hi. Hey there. So, wish guys the best. That's I don't all. mind that I got out, if I'm honest. She's not really my type. What's your type? Not her. Fire. Style, attraction. I already know. If you listen, cater to. Listen. As a, as a nigga, bro. You just know when you know, bro. There's only one guy she's going to pick here, bro. That is, that's just what it is, bro. There's only one guy she's going to pick here. And if you're watching this, bro, you know who she's going to pick. Don't lie to yourself. It's not going to be fucking Tupac. And it's not going to be the teddy bear. It's gonna be the nigga on the far right, bro. That's just what it is. What bro. I consider my that type, just, the red flags are very green. She's pretty. I would talk. I would definitely talk to that's her. We were is, out and bro. about. I'd say something to her for sure. Red flag. Wow. Because your shirt is wrinkled. Is it this one? 
iron your shirt, man. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. I think and it has a slight stain on it. I don't wear my shirt. I think that's the style. Also, I'm sweating. It's kind of hot. It it's is hot. Thing. It is hot. Shirt. I just sweat a lot, bro. I haven't, I haven't ironed my shirt since I was like 15, nigga. Who does that? Seriously. Just go out. Perfect type. I would say he has one sleeve and one bare arm. No tattoos on the other arm. Green flag. My style is pretty important to me, but I don't really care too much about others' opinions. I love Facts. that they're tall. Yeah. I'm very tall. drawn to very tall guys. Like, the taller you are, ugh. Right. Chef's kiss. Green flag. Because I like the accessories. I like the watch, the double necklaces, the shoes. Yes. Yeah. Ugh, I'm so good. He's a good-looking boy. What's a deal-breaker political opinion of yours? Be specific. My deal-breaker in politics would be your support of an individual whose beliefs directly contradict what goes on in the black and Hispanic community. Green flag. See, I feel like mine would be like if... I don't know, I don't know if it's a political opinion, bro, but just like being so overly obsessed with a with a political figure, bro. Like how niggas was with Trump, bro. Like, bro, if you can support Trump, nigga, you don't have to you don't have to beat Trump like Andrew Tate, nigga. Nigga, support Andrew Tate. Why do you have to beat Andrew Tate, bro? Be yourself, man. Don't make it a personality, bro. That's just what you like, bro. And that's fine. Just don't make it a personality, bro. If you don't stand for human rights. Make it a personality is so we won't align. What's the worst <sighs> thing someone can say about you? My style is whack. Like they don't like my That's style. That's the worst. That's not good, really, bro. They, I don't really Tupac. care as much just, about just what leave, people bro. say about me. So just I, leave, it's bro. It's hard to try to think of something. Green flag. Would you don't raise your no kids with religion? Why or why not? I would. I was raised Catholic. Um, no. I now practice. I'm a Christian now. Uh, I pray no. every day. I meditate. It's important to me. It brings me ease, it brings me peace, and I think it's important. Religion is something that I'm not I'm not big on religion, bro. I think I have a set of beliefs, but it's like I don't follow those beliefs to a T, bro. I think raising your kids in religion is like like raising your kid on sexuality, bro. Like you just gotta let them figure out what they want. Even obviously you educate them, right? But you don't push them into a certain direction, bro. I feel like that just that's just not a good way of parenting, bro. You let your kids figure out what they want to be, who they want to be, and how they want to be it. That's just what it is, bro. To instill those values. That's just what it is. My children too. I would like someone that believes in something. Like I don't care what it is, but like I love to like pray and I love to like meditate and things like that. So See, I don't someone that can like, that, that and like do it with all me. Due respect. It's definitely a good all due respect to the man above. Can I get two? Not me. No. <laughs> Your best female friend is being super flirty with you while we're dating. What would you do? It depends on the situation, like where we are. What? What do you mean? There, there's no situation, bro. She's flirting with you while you're dating, bro. There's no situation that depends on anything, bro. You stop talking to that bitch, bro. Or you let her know. Then you let your girl know, bro. But I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm cheating. That or just if, we, if we're that like texting and she says something crazy, I'm gonna be like, that just that's me. weird, don't do that, or something like that. Like, cut that out. That and if she does it again, then I might have to block her or something. Bro, you've but, um, cheated before, bro. And she if we're in person, me. then I just give her a weird look and be like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Try to talk to her, be like, what are you doing? Even if I wasn't in a relationship He's and a, cheater, a friend you can't, you can't would be listen to him, I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We're friends. That's it. He's a cheater. Bro. Yeah. Firm boundaries are the best way to go. You don't Facts. respect me. You don't respect my girl. You gotta go. Facts. Period. If it persisted, then I would be like, yeah. Happening once is persistence. True. I can't. I can't dictate. I mean, I can't predict. You can't really control Dude, that. Um, you can't. Tupac, you're a piece of shit, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, buddy. Unless you can see it coming somehow, but that's not really persistence. If yeah, it happens initially. You're a piece of shit, buddy. Serious. His response, 
validated my reasoning for giving him a red flag. Do you want me to elaborate more? No, I, I was just saying I can't predict if it happened the first time. If it happens after that, then I could be like, of course, well, yeah, I predict it, but I just feel like boundaries that you already set when you get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. People break boundaries all the time. You can't control whether people break boundaries. You can't control what happens after that. But for me personally, I've been in a situation, long time, multiple guy friends, never once crossed the line, ever. That's great. Because like, that's what, that's what I established. That's the line that they know they could never cross, even if they felt that way. Thanks. But I'm coming around to like you, buddy. Touring? She knows what she wants, and she's particular, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, if we don't match, there's no point of wasting time, right? If you suspect I cheated on you, how would you approach it? Oh, I would be straight up. I would call you out on it. I'm not being around a bush. Nobody got time to waste, right? I wouldn't, you know, I would you attack you head on. I would ask you, like, hey, what? First name first. I'm cheating back. I'm getting it back in blood some way, somehow. Nigga, I'm getting it back in blood. Then we're going to talk about it. Hmm? going on right then and there i'll probably pull up to your house like girl come outside <laughs> you know let me see your phone i like patrick i've never bro. allowed someone to pull up to my house and demand to see my phone ever in a million years especially if you're my partner I like patrick, there should bro. still be a certain level of respect you can still be firm without being insane green flag can i get two nope i'm gonna keep asking you until you get two. i know you did end up giving him a green flag only for the straightforwardness of it I definitely believe I like Patrick, if that's bro. what you feel like your partner is doing, confront them. What counts as cheating? I don't like Anytime that you do anything with malicious intent, if you have to try to justify anything or like, then that, no, it doesn't work like that. If it's a blurred line, then it's a cross line. Green flag. That's fast, bro. I'm sorry. Jeremy. I said it once. <sighs> yeah. What I say? I mean, what did I say? As soon as, as soon as them niggas turned around, bro. As soon as them niggas turned around, you just you knew it was gonna happen. You knew fucking J Cole with a haircut was gonna come out here. You knew Tobias Harris was gonna come out here and win, bro. She talk, She said height, but that don't mean that don't mean shit when the two tallest niggas is uglier. I just would that you would don't take it from me. <laughs> don't take it from me. You see it. I'm colorblind. You see the proof. I'm telling you. Feels good winning, no matter what the circumstances are. Feel like I just hit a game. If you're tall, you gotta be good looking too, bro. If it's a shorter, good looking nigga, you're out, bro. Twenty three pointer. Jeremy's really cool. Super super cool. Super seemed like a super. She gave she gave the big guy a red flag when she talked about the shirt. Yeah. We can do numbers, yeah. WhatsApp. You. His shirt, wrinkly too. Look at his shirt. His shirt, bad. Email, mm -hmm. pen pal, whatever. You bad guy. <laughs> Tell me. Any final thoughts? Um, no, just, just you hey, know. I um, mean, good vibes. Patrick and Jeremy were cool. For though, me, bro. it's not as linear as just. Oh yeah, I mean, I can't wait to go on a date. I mean, you know, he seems like a great dude. I, we could grab a drink sometime as friends, you know? We can go <laughs> you, on a date. Just. Uh, <laughs> oh. Do you hope anything kind of amounts after this, or? Jeremy is nice, and Jeremy is cool. And I'm glad I met Jeremy for today. Patrick was cool. Tupac, fuck Tupac. The white guy, I don't remember his name. The Mexican guy was cool. Jeremy's cool. Yeah, fuck Tupac. That was good though, but hey man, I'm done. I probably got another one coming out tomorrow. Maybe not, bro, I'm busy tomorrow. I got school tomorrow. But yeah, man, that's all it's gonna take from me, my boys. I'm gonna see y'all later. Deuces.